Hey everyone, what is up? It's Zero Devs here, and welcome to part four of my RPG development tutorial series. So, this first like voice section that I'm doing right now is a voiceover because I accidentally had my mic disabled when I was recording. So about halfway through the video, about nine minutes in, my actual live voice recording will come on and I'll mention that then. But I'll just try and go along here as if it was an actual live recording. So as you can see, this cave area was not here in part three. I built this off camera. So there isn't really much I can teach specifically about the building. So I'm going to be doing mostly area building, realm building off camera if you want me to do a, to, a separate tutorial on building and how to do all that stuff. Uh, just leave a comment below asking about that. So in this video, I am going to be taking a look at creating new enemies for this cave area, Stone Golems. I'm going to be taking a look at creating the boss and setting up all the boss configurations for this new area. And I'm going to show how to build custom swords and how to import these custom swords so that they are usable and you can have them as instead of using basic meshes that Roblox provides or like the basic kit mesh you can build your own custom blades that won't be in any other game and I'll also be taking a look at how to do level doors so how to make it so certain areas have doors or gateways that are off limits to other players well to players below a certain level so first thing I'm going to be doing is just creating this stone golem. I'm just going to make him a light gray color slate. Then I'm going to have to go into my configuration and start setting up all the mob configs. I'm going to try and keep a basic pattern going on. So like the 8 times the level and all the basic level 1 stats times the level. I might lower or raise a bit below what that equation would equal. But I'll just get out my calculator and do most of the math. So most of the time just following a strict thing, like completely strictly for that, won't work. So what you're going to have to do is set up everything, how like around that area, and then run tests, either get, either get a bunch of testers to come in and play your game, play your game yourself, play your game with one or two friends, whatever you need to do to get someone playing through the game and giving you feedback about whether enemies are too strong, too weak, progression is too fast, too slow. Um, all kinds of stuff, whether there's bugs, whether there's some sort of bug glitch in the way this thing's built, literally anything and everything that could be going on with the game, you're going to need someone testing and telling you about that. So I'm just going to go change the billboard GUI right now so that it actually says the mob's correct name in studio. This is not necessary at all. The name will automatically change in game once you click play. However, I just like doing it because I like having the correct names in my studio place. Although it's not necessary at all. So right now I'm just going to go and distribute the mobs evenly around this cave area. Um, just want to get a decent amount of these mobs spread out so that players can kill them and level up and farm. Have I have two pathways here. The cave is designed so there's a medium sized room in the beginning which then splits into two thin pathways which open into a larger room which is where the boss will be. So I'm just going to put some enemies guarding these pathways so you have to kill them to get by and head towards the boss room. I'm just going to get this guy set up and duplicate him and drag him on over to the other side since it's directly parallel from it. But now that I have these basic mobs starting to get set up I'm going to have to come over here or want to come over here and create a um, elite mob, so a stronger variation of the mob. Most of my areas in this RPG game will contain a basic mob for the area, an elite or stronger version of the mob, and then the boss. So my stronger version for this is going to be the strong golem, which will be a level 22 enemy. I'm just going to do all of his mob configurations to so set up his name, his level, his reward XP, his reward gold, all that fun stuff right now. So as a lot of this is being set up I might until the um, actual audio comes up 
all it might talk about other stuff so for example in the next episode i'm going to be showing you all how to add custom animations to your to your sword so you don't have to use the basic anim you can have different swords have different animations and all that good stuff and what, as I was talking about earlier with testers, if you don't have anyone to test your game or you just don't want to test it by yourself or want more people, I suggest going into the comments below this video and just asking, hey, anyone want to come test my RPG game? Hey, can I test anyone's RPG game? Then just find someone, test each other's RPG game, give each other feedback, get criticism from each other. You can take inspiration from their game, see what other people are doing with the kit, see how other people are doing stuff. If you like the person and like their work, you can even collaborate and work together on an RPG game and make progress faster. Maybe one use way better at building and maybe one use like knows how to modify scripts in the thing. Or you just both build really well or something. Or you just want to make get something out faster. It's just a great way to meet people and get better at developing. So now that I've got these strong golems configured, I'm going to just duplicate them and spread a decent amount of them out throughout this boss room. Just enough that like the player can go around and kill them and level up without having to constantly wait for one to respawn. But not so much that they can't walk around the room without being assaulted by the golems. So I built this cave in the last part, but for the boss I think I'm gonna build, I thought I was gonna build him a throne, as I think having a throne will make him look <clears throat> a lot cooler and more boss like. So I'm gonna start building it, but I'm gonna need to go get the Bandit King model so that I can have like a size comparison so I can see how big I need to build the throne so that I don't have this like super small or super huge throne on this mob and the ratios aren't off and everything. So I'm just going to duplicate our bandit king, bring him on over to where our throne is and just <clears throat> take a look at him. Odd. I am unable to see what's going on right now. So, one moment. Yep, so I'm just going to continue building this throne. Sorry, the video cut out there for a moment, but I fixed it now. So I'm just going to like add the little seating area with the armrest on either side. Make it really like bit big and bulky so it doesn't look like a chair and looks like a big stone throne. I'm going to scale the back piece a little bit just to make it <clears throat> a little thinner and look a little bit more like uh, King's Throne. So now I'm just going to select all the parts at once and then I'm going to run. Oh no, never mind. I'm going to build some steps leading up to the throne just to make it look, add more detail to it, make it look a bit cooler. And add a second step, scale that down a bit more. So now that I've got your throne built, you're going to want to select all your parts and then press Ctrl G to group them together. <clears throat> make it a model, move it back a bit, and yeah. So now that you've got your throne built, um, so I just realized I had my mic muted the whole time I was doing the commentary over top of this, so I'm just gonna have to do voice overlays for the first eight minutes of the episode. And yeah, so I'll just continue with the live commentary now. So <clears throat> I'm going to drag this guy back, change his thing. I think I'll give him a light gray on there. And then actually, like a pitch black here, then like a dark stony gray on there. Oh, uh, where was this man? I forget what we did. So we had uh, so there that is. Now I'm just going to set him up really quickly. So, as you can see, Bullum King. Ah, 
added an extra space there. I'll have the Golden King be a level 22 boss. Going to set his mob config up. Mob config config up now. Awarded XP. Uh, that's for level 10, so I can just do a little bit more than double that. Uh, 200. 235. 340, 220, and I'll do 200, true, true, and there we go, so this weapon name now, we're going to have to actually build the weapon that we want to drop, or get it made, so since I said I was going to be showing how to um, make custom weapons, that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to build a really quick sword that could make like a cool um, stone sword type thing. So I'm just going to set, I'm going to import and plug in this rig builder, an R15 block rig. Then just use this as like a size comparison for how big everything should be. I'm going to set the handle to like. <clears throat> A gray stone. Then scale this up a bit. Drag this down. I'm gonna want to center this bottom piece of the handle. I'm going to make that black. And I'm also going to drag this up, down, just to make like the little edged piece that comes right before the blade. And now I'm going to duplicate this piece and just make the actual blade. So I think I'm going to have this be like a great sword. So I'm going to go like, er, no, I'll have it be like a long sword. So I'll go like this, like that. Now uh, what you're going to want to do is duplicate your blade and then rotate it like that. Make sure that's scaled bigger than your blade in thickness. And now you're going to want to like line this up and make another one so that these like will be designed to cut out to the point of your blade. So once you have it set up like that, you're going to want to go to model, and the gate will have those two selected. Now select those two and the blade and click union. And there is your blade. <clears throat> I'm just gonna name the handle piece really quickly. Oh, I'm gonna go down here to our starter pack, duplicate our bronze sword, and call this Blade of Golems. Now I'm just going to take this, duplicate all the pieces, and drag them down into the Blade of Golems. Gonna want to put all the other pieces inside of the handle. Select them all and use the <clears throat> weld plugin that I left a link to in my last video. Oh, that's the wrong one. New weld. I'll leave a download link down below again. Gonna want to delete the old handle out of the weapon and then configure it. <clears throat> So I think I'll have damage range from 20 to 30 or 30 to 40. That seems like a good range. And I'll have the selling cost sell, sell for mm, 2,000. We can config, change all this stuff later. But now I'm just going to use my tool group editor to make sure that the player is holding this right. And there we go. So now if I click test, we should be able to see all of be able to see this new sword in our starter pack and use it. Blade of Golems, as you can see, have it. Player can swing it and use it. So that is how you build custom swords. What I'm gonna be doing in the next episode too is replacing or off camera, replacing all of our mesh swords with custom built ones 
I suggest you do that for your thing, just so that it's cooler, makes it more unique. So yeah, there's our blade of golems, that is a cool. Now what I'm going to want to do is drag this blade of golems into our game items folder. And now go back to our boss and set our boss to actually drop this weapon. He's over here. Bandit King mod config. Change the name. Blade of Golems. And there we go, now our boss will drop the weapon. Now last part of this episode, I am going to show how to set up our level doors. So what you're going to want to do is take the level door that came in the kit, go over and bring it to the entrance of your area, just line it up, set it up so that it covers the absolute entire door. There we go. What you can do is you can take the level door config, change the required level piece to what you want, and then an area name. Then you can also change the text in your build board GUI to match that. Level 10. So there we go, as you can see now we have the cave level 10 area set up. So that'll be it for this episode, I hope you all enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this, I upload almost daily. And uh, make sure to join my Discord server for any help or questions or just to talk to me and other members. The link to that will be in the description. I'll see you all in the next video.